Welcome to HB Tuner's GM Gen 5 training part 12. In this training module, we're going to be exploring how the direct injection feature works on our GM Gen 5 engines. We're also going to be talking about how we can actually dial in our direct injection based on the camshaft that you have installed on your engine. So we're going to have an Excel spreadsheet calculator. We can enter our cam card information and figure out where we need to be in terms of the values to program in our start of injection table. We're going to have a lot to talk about. Let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our direct injection within our GM Gen 5 applications. Now, direct injection is something that a lot of people aren't familiar with. If you came from port fuel injection, it seems like it's almost voodoo magic of how it's going to work. A lot of people are intimidated by the direct injection. It's actually really, really simple. We're going to break down exactly how it works in this tutorial. So we're going to be doing a general overview of direct injection. We're going to look at the tables we have for programming, which are very minimal but we have some ability to go in and dial things in specifically with where we're starting the actual in in injection event of where we want it to happen at. Um, we're gonna talk about how that relates to the cam profile that we're running. If we're having, having an aftermarket camshaft installed into our engine, we'll find that our intake valve opening and exhaust valve closing points are gonna be different. We need to go and readjust what our start of injection is going to be based on our cam profile we're gonna take a look at an Excel spreadsheet calculator that's gonna allow us to see exactly what's going on based on the cam profile that we're dealing with, what we have installed under our engines. You're gonna need your cam card information handy for the cam if you have an aftermarket cam installed. If you do have a stock cam, there's gonna be little gains to be found by adjusting your injection timing events, but we're still gonna talk about how this is gonna work so you can reference this for your particular vehicle. We're gonna look at some log data in our VCM scanner so we can take a look at the channels and we need to pay attention to, and then we can take some of that data and bring it back into our Excel spreadsheet. We use that in the calculator to figure out exactly what's going on and find out if we're in a bad situation or not within the direct injection window. So let's start to break this down. Let's jump into the fundamentals here. Let's first find in our calibration file where we're going to source the direct injection tables themselves, what we're gonna actually interface with and program, and then we'll take a look at the overview of how direct injection works that's gonna be relevant for any direct injection engine, not just our GM Gen 5. So this is gonna be giving you just a, a kind of an overview of how everything's gonna work. Let's jump in and take a look at where we can find our direct injection specific tables. So I'm working with the 2018 Yukon Denali file here for the tutorial. You can open up any Gen 5 file to follow along with this tutorial. I'm gonna go up here into my engine tab right now and then move across from general over here into fuel. Now in our fuel tab, we have our injector control right here. If we work our way down, we can find that towards the bottom, we have some parameters here. We have a split pulse and injection timing. We're gonna go and talk about what this all represents right here. The takeaway from this area is that we really only are gonna modify our SOI base table or start of injection. And then down here, we have our gap. So we have our spark offset right here. We're gonna talk about what that represents. Now we're gonna find that's really the only things that we might wanna alter in terms of our direct injection in the programming. Now, the actual injector is being pulsed open and closed and the fuel that's being delivered, that's driven from our airflow modeling. We're gonna take a look at how to dial in our airflow models so that we deliver the proper fuel, but we need to understand how direct injection works just in general terms and then being able to make adjustments based on some modifications that we have done. Really, the big picture here is going to be, uh, are we, putting the fuel in at the right or wrong time within the window that we have for it to spray. And then are we adjusting where we're spraying our fuel relevant to the camshaft that we have installed? That's the two real big takeaways from this tutorial here. All right, so now we know the areas of where we're gonna be referencing. Let's jump in and take a look at an overview of how the direct injection is going to work. Then we'll jump back into our tables here and we'll reference what we need to know in order to start to dial some things in. Now. I wanna reiterate this once again. If you have a stock camshaft installed on your engine, there's gonna be really little to be found or gained by adjusting your start of injection base table here. Um, a lot of people like to fiddle around with the values. GM has it pretty much modeled spot on. If I have an aftermarket cam, we definitely need to go in and change that. It's throwing off the GM calibration of how everything was gonna be dialed in uh, based around an OEM cam. All right, let's jump in now. We're gonna move from our VCM editor I'm gonna jump into my Excel spreadsheet. We're gonna find that this is our GM Gen 5 Excel calculator. 
This is found in our main training course folder. You can download that right from our directory for the training course. Now, let's jump in here and let's take a look at our graphical plot. This is gonna make a lot more sense as to what's going on in terms of the values in the table for the SOI table or start of injection table that we're gonna find right here. Let's actually just leave this open. We'll talk about this. So we're gonna make sense of what these values actually mean here. And that's gonna relate back to our graphical plot here. So let's start to jump in here and take a look and talk about how our start of injection and direct injection in general is going to work. So what we're gonna find in here, when we're referencing and working and units of programming, anything within direct injection, and this doesn't matter if it's a GM Gen 5 or it's going to be another make and model vehicle that's direct injection, it's all handled in the exact same way, meaning the units of reference in terms of the values in the table here. If we jump in, we see these values. Are Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.